Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to determine the interval of conversion for summation of minus 1 power n of times 2 power n over 3 power n times n squared times x minus half power n. Now, this type of uh, infinite series is called a power series, and this power series may converge or diverge depend on x here. And this, the the all the x we put together in a form of interval. That is why we have something called the interval conversion. The theory behind this is let's look at the PowerPoint. Right, the theory behind this, the PowerPoint is this. You can find something called the ratio test for radius of conversion on page three hundred and thirty. David Brandon's text or any calculus text. It says, suppose you have a summation of an times x minus a power n here, a power series from n from 0 to infinity as a power. Then, if you look at the limit of absolute value of a n plus 1 over n, suppose this limit is L, capital L, as n approach infinity, then three possibilities can happen. If L equals infinity, then the series will converge only when x equal to a. Right? Basically, the most of the all, all, almost all the terms are zero, except the first term. And in this case, the radius conversion is zero. If l is equal to zero, then the series will converge for any x here. In this case, the radius of conversion is infinity. For case A and B, it's not very interesting. But for case C, if C is a finite number greater than 0, if L is a finite number greater than 0, then the series will converge for x minus a less than 1 over L, absolute value of x minus a less than 1 over L, and the radius of conversion is 1 over L. You can see this geometrically. This interval, the center is A, the radius of conversion is R, and the interval where the power series converts from a minus r to a plus r. Except by the end point, you have to be careful. You have to consider separately giving the interval of conversion. Okay, so next go back to the question again. So our power series, in this case, my a n is this term, and a is equal to half. Why right, a equal to half here? So in order to find the interval of conversion, I need to find L. In this case, I need to find a n plus one, which is two power n plus one over three power n plus one over n plus one square. Where a n is equal to two power n, three power n n square. Okay, then I need to take the ratio of a n plus one over a n. By taking this ratio, okay, I have forgotten the minus one power n, so I need a minus one power n plus one for a n plus one minus one power n. So, when I take the absolute value, I can ignore the minus 1 power n. So, you will get that this is a n plus 1 divided by absolute value a n means multiplied by 3 power n over 2 power n times n square. Right? After I have ignoring the sign. So, in this case, I can further simplify as 2 power n times 2, 3 power n times n plus 1 square times 3 power n times n square and 2 power n. And I'll find that okay, 3 power n times 3 is 3 power n plus 1, right? So I'm using this thing here. 3 power n plus 1, 3 power n plus 3, and 2 power 
n plus 1 is 2 power n times 2. And why are we doing this? Because there will be a law of cancellation. Okay, so can after the cancellation, I have 3 power n, 3 power n cancel, 2 power n and 2 power n cancel. So this will leave me 2 over 3 n plus 1 square and n square. As n goes to infinity, this turns to 2 over 3. As n approaches infinity. Okay, so therefore, L in this case is 2 over 3. This number is L. Now, once we know the L, we can find the radius of convergence. So the radius of convergence in this case, R is 1 over L is 3 over 2. Therefore, we can conclude now the series converge for, in this case, our term is x minus half raised to the power n. So the term we're looking for is series of converge for x minus half, a is half here, less than r, which is 3 over 2. Right? This is the R here. Now what does it mean? In this case, you expand out. You find this is x minus half between 3 over 2 and greater than minus 3 over 2. And add half to everywhere. So you get 2 and minus 3 over 2 plus half is minus 2 over 2 is minus 1. That means that for x between minus 1 and 2, then we know that the power series converge. Okay, for x between minus 1 and 2, the power series converge. Now how about when x equal to 1, x when x equal to 2 and x equal to 1. So now so we have find out that these are the range of x where the power series converge. Now how about the endpoint? Testing endpoint now.